So I've got this really hefty lump of chain and I'm going to wrap it around here somehow. And we've got a shackle here to join it together. So let's pop that together like that. And if we lift this up like that, that will lock it in place. So that was easy enough. Then I'll undo that. I need to get another shackle and bring the cable to here. Hopefully I can get up here later on um, and remove this lot. And if it works right, I'll probably put a dab of paint just to show me where. But this, cape, this chain, the shackle is in the piece that goes across and then this lot wraps around it. So the main stress is taken by this, the chain going round the tower legs. And the join is in the place where there's least stress, theoretically. So let's just go and get a, another shackle. So here we go, so it's what you call a misty moisty morning, it's just grey, there's no solar and no wind and the no wind would be a benefit. The wind will, if the whole tower is going that way, you don't want a wind blowing that way as well. As soon as it gets to about there, it'll just do that. So with all these things on these shackles, tighten it to it's tight and then half a turn back. Just so that if it moves when it's been used, it just doesn't tighten up. Right, that's moved the anchor point further up the tower. I was getting an echo then and uh, hopefully that will improve things. So I've got a turf winch there onto that chain and it goes all the way up to there. So it just sort of pulls a little bit. So let's just see what it does. I'll, I'll take a view of the top of the tower on its stay. As you can see, it's sort of lifting it. So that's the security. So I've got the other camera running up there, and uh, Let's just go and see what's uh, going on. So I've just been to have a look and it's lifting. I just tightened that security winch up just to see. It's a steady old job.
hopefully it'll start getting a bit easier. I'm just going to go and tighten that other winch up just in case so that seems all right down that end I've tightened the the other winch up and it seems easier with that winch at that end now although it's harder to start with where the logic of that is I haven't got a clue I'll have to think about it. You would have thought it'd been easier from this distance, but obviously not. Let's go and try it on that other winch. Do you know, the forecast said it was going to be sunny today. I'll just take the slack up. Oh, that's so much easier. And the other camera will be showing. I don't like being next to that. The other camera will be showing the cable dropping. So taking the slack up on that cable. See that turbine raising out of the bushes. You won't want to do this every week unless it was part of some rigorous training exercise. This uh, Norway spruce that we're anchored against, I must have planted this, I don't know, 1986, something like that. And then probably about 97, I put that turbine tower there. And would you believe it or not they line up perfectly so it's an ideal anchor tree and of course it's nearly 20 inches in diameter now so perfect Let's just zoom in. Can you see it moving? It's starting to get easier though. 
as it would do as the leverage changes a bit. Do you think this is going to be a long, slow video? It's not as long as slow as operating this winch. In the book I've got some research based on real figures. And, uh, okay, it was, the research was, uh, what, 10 years ago, but we ran a future energy turbine and this proven, and they're only about two miles apart, both battery systems, and we ran uh, those for a year, taking readings on watt meters every week and it turns out that three future energy is as good as one proven and of course with a proven you need big footings and heavy duty stuff whereas with a future energy you can use aerial mass towers telescopic ones and they maybe two or three sections so you can lower it all down and then it'll tip over. And it's a lot quicker and a lot less hassle. So if you can get the aerial mass at a reasonable price, then it's a lot cheaper to have three future energy than one of these. Having said that, the proven is very robust. Downwind with blade governing, whereas the future energy has got tail governing which is all right as long as the system's pretty good swings and roundabouts this this one weighs 200 kilos the future energy with the blades is 10 percent of that yeah so um and the telescopic towers would be a huge benefit if you have a look at my very early playlists I did uh, I think I can't remember what it's called wind and solar electricity a basic primer or something like that have a look in there and near the start you'll see some of these future energy on aerial towers so there you go anyway more of the winching So there you go, I described the winch setup in the last video, but this is a one and a half ton lift, three ton pull turfer with a four ton strop and it's on 11 mil cable. And as you can see, we've virtually got the tower up now, so it's quite easy going. To start with, I was having to go like this which is why the little winch or another one of these on the other end just to take a bit of strain as well was helpful and on this setup really it might be better to have two people you're always safer anyway when you're dealing with uh, steel cables and winches and lots of weight that can fall backwards you really need two people I think we're nearly there. So we've just got to make that foot go on that landing there. And there's another one over there. And there's another one just behind that curl of old hydraulic pipe there. So we just need to move a bit further. going too far but I think I'm just going to go and have a look that's it for this video thank goodness and there we are lots of tidying up putting the bolts in put the winches away oil the cables and oil the winches
and that just about wraps it up cup of tea time sit down by the Rayburn for half an hour get out this rain <laughs>